spotted on a rubbish truck in Li Jiang's old town. This admonition, don't throw rubbish out of car windows. Excellent advice given in both Chinese and Nasi. Most of the graphs here are simply phonetic borrowings like car window, che chua. Originally these two words mean unclean and sacrificial rice. The most interesting graph is definitely the verb throw. It's a figure throwing a piece of ginger away. Why ginger, you ask? Well, this is an example of a phono-semantic compound, a kind of graph that has two primary components, one that gives a clue to the meaning and one that gives a clue to the pronunciation. In this case, the graph is gu to throw, and the word for ginger has the same pronunciation. Consider the Chinese for throw, rung, also a phono-semantic compound where we have a hand radical and a phonetic. The nasi, I'm sure you'll agree, is much more vivid. Over 90% of Chinese graphs are phono-semantic compounds. The number is smaller for nasi, but they are still very common. As an example, let's look at a different phono-semantic compound in nasi. Si meaning person, i.e. the si in nasi. It's a person with a piece of wheat growing from their head. This does not indicate someone who is growing crops on their scalp, but rather the wheat, which is pronounced si, simply tells us how to pronounce the word for person. A more boring way of writing the graph for throw is this, just a figure standing next to the phonetic ginger. So why not put the ginger into the figure's hand and have the person actually be throwing it, like has been written here? Suddenly we can imagine the movement much more readily. This is the power of the pictograph. Remember then, don't throw old ginger out of car windows. Or anything, in fact.